at what in Garth Brooks. I got excited and I went and picked up my wheels. I just, I got carried away. I got the truck running good. I bet this truck's gonna get 20 something miles per gallon. I need to go weigh it. It doesn't weigh anything. It's it's wild. I'm pretty happy with it. Next, I gotta get all the lights, blinkers, and everything functioning correctly. Just kind of been a little bit of a uh, troublesome issue. I went through the fuse box today, and I don't have anything wrong in there. The only thing that was wrong was the power brake pedal adjuster, which I took it apart and the 10 amp was blown because the gear had broken the plastic grid gear and it had kind of lodged itself so i took it apart and took them all the way to the floor and now look at my legs and by the way i got the uh the heat working i got it on my feet right now everything's working everything except for my lights are not 100 percent that's the only thing not working and even my horn, even cruise control. I'm so thankful. She runs out good. in case anyone's wondering my plan with this truck is to find a six-speed manual that i can get set up on this crown vic 46 or five speed you know what i'm saying but if that can't happen then um i'll just drive and enjoy it the way it is it's fantastic so you know air conditioning and all who, who's going to complain about that just give me a bed back here be rocking and rolling You imagine that thing slammed? Oh, I was just kidding. This thing's going back original. It might go back black. You just don't come back. That's what, at least what I've heard. <laughs> All right, a black primer with a soft, almost Chevrolet blue or like that original Pontiac blue on the engine something like that i might go original who knows i'm falling in love with this thing he's a good boy you know there's that one person that's gonna be like i only clicked on this to see the lug nuts he put on Trying to clean some threads. I had to go to Hammer Town. Bronco fell off the jack. 
it sunk in the ground. Rolled about five feet. I guess it's playing in the leaves. <laughs> get it, Harley, get it, get it, Harley, get it. Get it, Harley, get it. Right here, buddy, a stick. Yeah. You give that stick the beans. He's old, Harley. Give him a break. So I found out where uh, this part in the back of the truck goes to. There's like a 25 or 30 40 year old brand new uh, little knuckle on the back and that's where it goes. So that will be getting changed. There's a lot that's gonna be getting changed in here. Uh oh, oh no. Oh, about took off. It's in gear, but it's, I guess the motor's turning over. I need to get this pulled as soon as possible. Looks good though. And if you've got a real keen eye, this old girl's been in a wreck. So I've got some work to do right here. Someone would say it might be totaled. Others would say you're wrong. All three of these were probably totaled. <laughs> After I got my hands on them. Huh. Thought I forgot. And uh, we'll call this a win. Those hubcaps are worth more than this Bronco. I'm very thankful. I want to give a big shout out if you're in North Georgia and uh, Bartow County, Gordon County area. A good friend of mine, Oscar, has two tire shops and uh, they're on 41 in Adairsville. We got Dixie Tire and then Pit Stop Tire. So, all right, back to the show. We'll see you next time.